What is happening guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today I've got another fun one here. Uh, we got some OGs in this squad, of course. And uh, you're looking at this team matchup, you're thinking, dang, this opponent has quite the, uh, quite the scary team. Uh, just from the team previews, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty one-sided here. But I've got faith in my, uh, in my team of outcasts here. Is they generally uh, kind of catch people off guard. And plus it's more fun for me to use these types of teams. So... One thing that I will say right from the start is that I'm actually unsure of what they're going to lead with. It doesn't seem like they have a dedicated lead Pokemon, so I'm actually going to end up leading off with my Manectric just to get a nice little uh, Choice Specs Volt Switch pivot, as they end up actually sending out the Tyranitar. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. Tyranitar, obviously I can't really touch it with this thing, but I can then uh, just kind of get a nice little Volt Switch into something more fitting. I've got a couple of Pokemon to deal with this guy on my squad. Um, I'm working with, you know, I got the Sharpedo, I've got Choice Scarf Pinsir who can outspeed and kill it with a close combat. So I'm going to go for a Volt Switch here. I actually get a huge chunk of damage, even with the uh, the special defense boost from the Sandstorm. It's actually, it, that thing takes a buttload of damage from that, so that's great. Um, as I'm looking at my squad here, I actually really want to get up the Stealth Rock. Looking at the opponent's team, they've got Pokemon like the Entei, the Scizor... Uh, potential Focus Sash on the Gengar could get broken, so I really want to kind of prioritize getting rocks up. Uh, as I bring out the, the the man, the myth, the legend, the Miltank, um, he comes right into a dancing Tyranitar. Fucking Miltank was not, did not realize there was a uh, Fiesta going on here, and that's actually quite unfortunate that they go right for the Dragon Dance. A lot of the time, I don't expect the opponents to kind of go for the early game setup. Turn one, Dragon Dances generally doesn't work because the odds are, you know, the opponent has something that they can kind of counter you with. So at the plus one, Miltank actually takes an Earthquake extremely nicely here, as I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. Uh, at this point, my my plan is kind of pivoted to going for the Stealth Rock to uh, kind of trying to hinder this Tyranitar as much as possible. Unfortunately, he also actually even has the Lumberry. So start to this match is not looking great here. I've now got a plus one speed and attack Tyranitar in the sand, and uh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of frightened. Fucking Reptar is about to... What a nice little rampage here, but I figure I can take another one here. He actually ends up going for the Rock Slide. Uh, my guess was that they knew Earthquake wasn't going to kill, so it's actually more beneficial to go for the Rock Slide in case of the flinch. Luckily, Miltank does not play that Fufu lame shit, and <laughs> she actually uh, does not flinch there, and also lands the lands the Thunder Wave. So, a Thunder Waved paralyzed, you know, Tyranitar is actually a lot easier to deal with. So, I'm not too worried about this anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Miltank isn't going to be able to stay around for too much in this match, but I am able to go for the Stealth Rock here, uh, which actually is nice. So, you know, I ended up kind of getting what I needed to here. I got my rocks up. I got the uh, the Para on the T-Tar, and he actually ends up missing the Rock Slide there. Uh, risky play. He probably should have gone for the Earthquake. So, I mean, not, not really too big of a deal. as Unless Teddy Milk was running something like Hammer Arm or something, I can't really touch this thing. Also... The one struggle that these teams that I, I bring are they're very hyper offensive and they do not have a whole lot of switches into things, especially a plus one attack Tyranitar. So uh, I have to just go for the, the body slam here. I actually am able to whittle this thing down to near half, which is actually great because uh, now the rest of my team should have pretty much no problem taking care of fucking Godzilla here. So uh, Earthquake is going to knock out Titty Milk. Uh, kind of did what I needed to do there, which is actually fine. The Sandstorm goes away, which is uh, actually pretty nice. And now I've got some options. Um, looking at the opponent's team, I have to kind of figure out who's going to be the best for me uh, in case they switch out. I decide to go for the Sharpedo. It kind of puts the most pressure on them at this point. Um, their best switch in is going to be like Dragonite to a Liquidation. Obviously, that's not going to work out for them because I then can just Ice Fang. But uh, I go for the Liquidation. They're not going to overpredict or do nothing crazy. He actually ends up staying in. I, I assume they're just kind of weighing the options and realize uh, that Tyranitar was probably not going to be able to do too much considering I do have a couple answers for it. So. My guy may be only half of a shark, but he gets 100% of that kill, and that's great. Tyranitar down, that's a big threat to my team out of the way. Now he goes Scizor, which I was expecting. Scizor is the best switch into this thing. I'm actually hoping he doesn't go for the U-turn here. I do want to conserve um, my Sharpedo, because it's kind of my best answer to things like their Dragonite, uh, the Entei. It's even good for the Gengar if I can uh, maintain a couple speed boosts. So I'm going to switch this thing out as I'm going to bring in the Muck. Now Muck actually has a pretty decent matchup here, because here, if he decides to Swords Dance... Uh, I can actually start cursing and I'll actually be fine. Turns out he's going to go for the defog. Uh, so Miltank's hard work is now, you know, blown away by this this uh, this puke-colored bug here, which, you know, it's not really too big of a deal. Um, it's just going to kind of give a little bit more pressure to me for those certain Pokemon. So uh, now I've kind of got the matchup that I want. I'm going to go for a curse here 
as they actually end up do going for the Swords Dance. Now that's actually fine. I was kind of hoping that they were going to go for that and not get me uh, get some damage on me early, as because now Sup can kind of give him the middle finger, go for the curse, starts cursing at him, and I get that uh, plus one attack and plus one defense. So this thing's only um, one attack boost ahead of me at this point, plus it doesn't have anything uh, that it can really do to me. It has, Bullet Punch is probably its best damage output here. I'm assuming this is probably just, uh, you know, your standard um, it's kind of support defensive scissor here. So I'm gonna go for a rock slide. I, I want to start getting some damage on, off on this thing because scissor is annoying and literally everybody brings it in these Wi-Fi battles, I'll tell you what. Um, he actually ends up going for the U-turn. He sees Muck going for the curse and says, not today, Satan. <laughs> Does not want to deal with that, uh, but actually ends up bringing in the Gengar. But I have some bad news for you, buddy. That was actually probably a worse play because I go for the rock slide here as it comes in. Uh, with that plus one attack is gonna put it in range for me to get it with that priority shadow sneak. I swear to God, people are sleeping on Muck. I mean, not literally sleeping on it, because it'd be probably a, a terrible mattress, but <laughs> they do not expect the Shadow Sneak from the Muck, dude. I go for the Shadow Sneak, takes care of the Gengar, and uh, it's not often you see you see that happen. So, Gengar goes down again, another huge threat out of the way. I think is very fast, very scary. Uh, assuming its only attack on me there was actually probably Psychic, so I would have even been able to live that anyway. So. Uh, now he's thinking, damn, I gotta take care of this pile of shit. This thing is becoming an issue, and I'm thinking this is awesome. So I go for a poison jab here, uh, as they actually bring in the gator to go for the dragon dance. Uh, for alligator is actually one of the better Pokemon in the meta at the moment. A lot of people are bringing this thing, dragon dance, uh, sheer force gator is insane. But I go for the poison jab here. Um, that's gonna do well over half. Unfortunately, don't get the poison touch poison, or just the poison from the poison jab. Um, if you don't know, Muck has the ability Poison Touch, so anytime you make physical contact, it does have the chance to uh, get that poison. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter, but I didn't get it there. Uh, now he goes for the Waterfall. Luckily, it doesn't flinch me, and due to my Curse Boost, I was able to live that just barely. And now I can take out the Feraligator. So Muck is out here just making a name for himself. I don't know how many times I got to vouch for my guy Muck, but I swear to God, this thing is its amazing. It actually it doesn't get access to Ice Punch like it once did in this game yet, so it's kind of annoying, but anyway. Now he brings an Entei. I'm not sure what kind of set this thing's running. I'm just gonna go right for a Shadow Sneak here just to get some damage before I go down. Uh, Muck has kind of done what he needed to do, and his uh, his long rest is, is well earned here as he goes for the Sacred Fire, and he's gonna take care of me, uh, and Muck goes down. But not after just absolutely ripping a massive gaping hole in my dude's team here. Uh, so Muck going down there is actually fine, and now I get a free switch into whatever I would like. Sharpedo is looking like my best play here as I do outspeed, plus it doesn't have anything that they can switch into on Sharpedo, so uh, I go into this thing, I'm just going to go right for the liquidation, no reason not to, as this Entei actually ends up being Choice Scarf, goes for the Sacred Fire, actually misses, uh, which is kind of nice, it didn't really matter a whole lot uh, due to the fact that um, I would have been able to live that, it could have potentially burnt me, but then after the speed boost, uh, I could protect and get another and be able to outspeed and then kind of finish that thing off. I would have definitely been hindered by that, so unfortunate missed there on their end, but you know, when you're half a shark, you take what you can get, boys. Uh, <laughs> so in comes the Scizor. Now, I have something in the back pocket for this thing, and that is going to be my Manectric. Um, I could potentially stay in here and go for a Liquidation, put it in range for two to kill, but I don't want to be U-turned on here. So I'm actually going to switch into the Manectric. If he ends up going for the U-turn, uh, he then has to go into Dragonite, who doesn't have a great matchup against me, so this seems like the best play here. Bringing in the pointy doge, extra pointy, as it does actually end up going for the Swords Dance. Now that's actually ideal, uh, because I do know that even after a Swords Dance, I can definitely take a Bullet Punch, as long as this thing isn't like maxed out attack. Uh, so I go for the Flamethrower here with the Choice Specs, it's going to absolutely melt the shit out of this fella. I'm able to take the Bullet Punch uh, pretty damn nicely, and uh, a Flamethrower is, yeah, definitely going to take care of Scizor. Uh, you, you really do kind of have to bring something for Scizor, <laughs> even if you're bringing, you know, lower tier teams to these, uh, to these standard matches. You really gotta, you gotta be, be prepared for the damn Scizors, man. Uh, anyway, his last Pokemon is gonna be this Dragonite. Now, since I don't have my Stealth Rock up, this actually is pretty damn scary, because it's gonna maintain its Marvel scale, and that is not great. Plus, I'm Choice Specs into Flamethrower at the moment, and I cannot switch my move, and I'm thinking, how can I avoid... This thing killing me is setting up Dragon Dance. I'm thinking if I go into Pinsir here and he goes for the Dragon Dance, I actually am able to outspeed. I can get a uh, Rock Slide off, um, able to break its Marvel Scale, and then I can finish it off with the Sharpedo as long as it doesn't get too many Dragon Dances up. So I go into Pinsir here. I do get the prediction correct. He goes for the Dragon Dance, which is totally fine. And I know that Pinsir's speed, I'm actually, I'm running adamant with the Choice Scarf. So I think my speed's actually around like 400 something. 
uh, with the choice scarf. I go for the rock slide here. I'm thinking, please do not miss. Luckily, I do connect. Um, and that's going to do a little chunk of damage there as I'm able to break that marble scale. Plus, my guy Pinsir is able to get the flinch, which is actually crazy. I go for another rock slide here. Without that marble scale to help you out, that is going to actually kill it. And that is insane. So Pinsir really was just like, man, I, I was chilling in the back there for too damn long. And I just really needed my time in the spotlight. So... The young dick pinch comes out on top over a Dragonite, which actually feels amazing because that rarely happens. But um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the match there, boys. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just a bit of a note. If he actually, if he didn't flinch from that rock slide, he likely outrages, kills Pinsir. Then I could just go into Sharpedo, protect once, get a speed boost, um, and then an Ice Fang does kill. So still a really good match. It's always fun bringing these teams against these uh, against these dudes that are bringing, you know, the, the strongest mods they can find uh, in the OU tier. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to also subscribe if you're new here. Uh, I've noticed a lot of new people are, are coming in these days and I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. See you next time.